Elections run thanks to dedicated teams of poll workers who make sure every vote is counted. At one polling place in Lackawanna County, there's a worker whose dedication is yet to be matched. Newswatch 16 Stacy Lang introduces us to her. Just as sure as you can be that election day falls on a Tuesday, voters in Troop can be sure they'll see Phyllis Mikulski when they show up to vote. Democrat, Democrat yes. Democrat, thank you. Harry Truman was president when Phyllis started working the polls, and she's served 14 presidents since. Well, I think you should vote. I mean, I, I, I'm a great believer in voting. So, I mean, I, I, I don't like anybody to tell me they don't vote. This is her 72nd year as a poll worker here in Troop. She was asked to fill in for a poll worker who was sick on Election Day in 1949, and she showed up to help twice a year ever since. Phyllis turned 95 in February. My legs and my knees are bad, but otherwise my mind is sharp. A lot's changed in her 72 years at the polls, but new voting technology doesn't intimidate her. Phyllis has an iPhone and texts her son in Florida every day. Though she believes strongly in her civic duty, there's another reason why she's been doing this for decades. Because I just love to talk. I, I'm a talker. I'm a talker. I love to talk and I love people and I used to love to come out and I didn't have any work. So it was just going out to those places to see people. Seeing people in person is a luxury Phyllis has missed this past year. Tony's Republican? No, nope, Democrat. Oh, she's a Democrat. Oh, it's good to get along. <laughs> there you go. So she's soaking it up this election day and she says she will be here in November serving her hometown wonderful. I just, I would never want to leave here. I love Troop. Stacy Lang, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.